In this special topic, we are going to see how we can connect to SQL Server from a Visual C++ program. The tools to be used is Visual Studio Development Environment, where it contains also a C++ compiler. Therefore, this is the only thing we need for this live demonstration. So let's proceed and see how we can connect to SQL Server using a Visual C++ program. Note that the source code for this demo is available as a downloadable resource. So this is our development environment where you can see that the stdafx.h library is included by default when you create a new empty Win32 console application for Visual C++ template in Visual Studio. And we need to include the below additional libraries that is iostream, windows.h, sql.ext.h, sql.types.h, and sql.h. We are using the std namespace. So in the main method, we define two numbers here, that is the SQL result len and the SQL return code len. Then we need to define the handles and variables to be used. So I'm using the SQL handle type dev here. So I'm creating three instances of SQL handle, that is SQL con handle, that is for handling the connection, SQL stmt handle, that is for handling the statement, the SQL statement to be used and the SQL env handle. The SQL env handle is used for the ODBC connection to SQL Server. Also, I'm using SQL W car for my connection string. I'm initializing two of the above with null and then it's time for some allocations. So I'm allocating the SQL env handle and I'm starting the attempt to connect to SQL Server. Now, here I'm using a switch. In this switch, I'm attempting the connection to SQL Server and have certain cases. I have a case where SQL success, that is, I was successfully connected to SQL Server. SQL success with info, again, successfully connected to SQL Server. SQL invalid handle, that means I was not able to connect to SQL Server and display this error message on screen. And SQL error for any other error that, again, displays on screen could not connect to SQL Server. Now let's go back and check the connection string. So our switch is SQL driver connect, where we pass as a parameter the SQL connection handle. If you remember, we defined this above in the allocations. And this is the actual connection string we are using. I have commented out the above because in this case, I'm using SQL Server driver. I'm connecting to localhost to port 50100 to database master and I'm using a trust connection. Now, if I wanted to use a SQL login for connecting to SQL Server, that is username and password, I would use the commented out connection string where you can see that it allows you to specify the username to be used as well as the password for connecting to SQL Server. Note that the instance we're going to connect is a named instance. It is called SQL 2K17, but in the case of Visual C++, in the case of C++ in general, the connection strings for SQL Server do not require to specify the named instance. So you just specify the host name or IP that hosts SQL Server without specifying the named instance. And the only other thing you need to specify for connecting to SQL Server is the port number. So each named instance on a SQL Server machine, for example, if you have a machine with more than one SQL Server instances, each instance has its port. So you specify the machine name here, that is the database server host name or IP, and then you specify the port number of the SQL Server instance onto which you want to connect. Also, you specify the initial catalog. In this example, it is the master database and whether you are using a trusted connection or not. Now, if there is a problem connecting, then you need to exit the application. So if you do not have an SQL success using the SQL alloc handle, that is a connection to SQL Server, then you go to completed. And the completed label is actually exiting the application without even attempting to run a query. Now, if you have successfully connected to SQL Server, this go to label will not be triggered and the program's flow will continue by executing the tsql query we're going to specify below so you can see this is the 
query we are specifying, select double add sign version, that is a global variable, a built-in global variable in SQL Server that returns version information about the specific SQL Server instance onto which you are connected. Now, if there is an issue executing this command with the SQL exec direct function, again, it goes to completed label and exit the application along with reporting to the user that there was an error querying SQL Server. In a different case, we start parsing the results returned from our connection to SQL Server, and while there are records, we get this data as string and we display it on screen. After that, we complete the execution of the application by deallocating the handles and disconnecting from SQL Server. So let's rebuild our application and let's run it. So you can see I was able to successfully connect to SQL Server. So you can see here it's SQL Server 2017 and you get more information as well. Now let's try to run a simple query that is selecting all records from sys databases from master database in order to see the list of databases I currently have on the instance. Okay, so you can see I changed the query and I commented out the Cout query result here in order to get everything line by line. So let's rebuild and run again. You can see again, I successfully connected to SQL Server from my C++ application and after executing the T-SQL query that is retrieving the list of databases, these are the databases currently hosted on the specific SQL Server instance. So in this demo, we managed to successfully write the proper C++ code for successfully connected to SQL Server, run queries, get the results, and display them on screen. Now let's try changing the port number here to something else and see if our error handling mechanisms work. So we build and try again to connect to SQL Server. You can see we were not able to connect to SQL Server and our error handling mechanism worked because we managed to display on screen, could not connect to SQL Server without getting any unhandled exceptions. Okay, let's exit the application. This video is part of my online course, The Philosophy and Fundamentals of Computer Programming. Check the video description for enrolling to the course with a major discount. Thank you for watching this video.